Every single day, everywhere around the world, the sea creeps up on the coast and the distance between the top of the water and the bottom of bridges decreases, eliminating the possibility of, for example, boat traffic, shipping traffic for global freight to get under that bridge. So water over the bridge describes what will eventually happen, which is bridges will become washed out or submerged and it is something that we can't ignore. It's something we have to do something about now. But we have put all this development and coastal infrastructure in a fixed place and nature keeps taking it back. The biggest example in North Carolina is of course Highway 12 and the Bonner Bridge, which keeps getting washed out and repaired, washed out and can we talk about replacing it? Can we talk about moving it? These are massive infrastructure investments and they're ignoring the fact that the ocean wants to open that inlet and we need to examine how we're preparing to protect not global freight, people, people in coastal communities. Climate change is a reality for anyone who lives on the Outer Banks. 50% of the world's population will live within 30 miles of a coast by 2050. That's an awful lot of people. How do we save them from harm? How do we keep them protected? And the answer is, is that we confront climate change honestly, looking at the science, looking at the predictions, and most importantly, learning from other countries. What I'm working towards is getting global ideas and solutions that are sustainable for coastal communities and in particular port communities to cope with the impact of climate change.